This vintage look radio is a product of Faber Instrument Indonesia, a craft workshop in Tianjur, West Java. This product will become an official souvenir for G20 Summit in November after it wins the contest held by MSMEs and Cooperative Ministry and SMESCO. Before, it was one of the official merchandise for the Mandalika Motorcycle Grand Prix. President Joko Widodo had previously told Governor Ridwan Kamil during the 2020 Inner Craft Expo that the product has the potential to be featured in the summit. The company is now gearing up for production by procuring materials and hiring more workers. It will offer four designs with Jayakusuma, Gudungide Pangrango, Joglo, and model Cipanas. Kalau kebetulan tuh sebetulnya tuh dari dilihat dari delegasi yang akan datang tuh sekitar 20 ribu ya. Tapi kan di sini juga disesuaikan karena kita tuh di sini baru sebulan tuh maksimal 120 pis. Jadi kita hanya uh, 20 120 itu aja lah yang yang kita produksi. Nanti nantinya kan mudah-mudahan setelah ini bisa uh, apa? Lebih dikenal lagi, mungkin kita saya juga mungkin akan memperbesar industri ini. Tapi untuk sementara, karena ini kan e, di tahun ini kita di, dipercaya sebagai ini kan sebetulnya nggak di, ada e, nggak disengaja lah. Ya mudah-mudahan dan kedepannya setelah ini bisa e, apa lebih dikenal lagi di 20 negara yang lain. Faber Instrument Indonesia was founded in 2016 with founder Perman Hadi getting inspiration from vintage radios. Though featuring throwback designs, the insides are very much modern. Not only functioning as an audio equipment, the company's product could also function as home decor. Prices start from 850,000 rupiah all the way to 3 million rupiah depending on the model. See today contributor reporting from Tianjur. West Java.